A reading from John. He himself 
was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. Martin Luther writes, I do not spurn John the Baptist. I honor and esteem him highly. But I must distinguish him and his ministry and life from Christ, to whom he bears witness. John is a servant and not the Lord himself. He points and leads to the true light, but is not the light itself. His ministry is greater and nobler than that of all the prophets, for he not only prophesies as they did, that the Lord would come sooner or later. No, he points his finger at him who is already present and says, Behold, this is he. For this reason, I think so highly of his ministry. And I give thanks to God, our beloved Father, that he has given us so faithful a witness and a mouth that testifies to the true light and a finger that leads us to him who illumines our hearts forever and ever. Behold the man who points with his finger to the Lord, the Lamb of God. But as for my salvation, I will not and I cannot trust in John, nor can I cling to his holiness, his austere living, and his saintly works. For he is not God's Christ, as he himself confesses in John 3, 28, who is alone the light and life for us. John is a witness to the light, and he helps us through his ministry to become children of the light. Therefore he shines like a radiant and lovely light. Lord God, let me proclaim the light of salvation in my community, and let me live in this light. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Give us the joy of your saving help again, and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep the nations under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving help among all nations. 
Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Stir up your power, Lord Christ, and come. With your abundant grace and might, free us from the sin that would obstruct your mercy, that willingly we may bear your redeeming love to all the world. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Dear Jesus, as a hen covers her chicks with her wings to keep them safe, protect us this night under your golden wings, for your mercy's sake. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, comfort the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty God, bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Peace of Christ be with you always.